Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Friday, the 19th day of March, National Certified Nurses Day today. Okay. So if you're a certified nurse... Happy Certified Nurses Day to you today. Also, National Chocolate Caramel Day or Chocolate Caramel Day. How would you say that? I usually say caramel. I do too. But then it sounds funny because I think caramel is probably the way it's supposed to be. I don't know. Either way, chocolate caramel, chocolate caramel. It's a delicious Either day. way, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. National Let's Laugh Day. Let's laugh for a second. <laughs> <laughs> We're so dumb. <laughs> and it's National Poultry Day. Hey, don't be chicken. <laughs> wow. It's Laugh Day. You're supposed to laugh. <laughs> um, uh, do you know who uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta from yeah. CNN? So his brother, Sunil Gupta is my guest today. Sunil Gupta has a book that just came out recently. It's called Backable, The Surprising Truth About What Makes Someone Take a Chance on You. And I'm super excited to chat with him coming up. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. A new study finds that a vegan diet could cause weaker bones. Fresh research reveals that eating a meat and dairy-free diet can result in a greater risk of broken bones. And also, talking about being a vegan can create a greater yeah. risk of... I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing about that. Uh, that was something somebody said online, and I thought it was funny. So I didn't mean to steal your joke. No, but, but I'm sure that that's accurate. National Let's Laugh Day. I'm just trying to make people because smile. Because you're not getting the protein and no, the it's, it calcium. Is. It's a study, Heidi. It is accurate. I that's, know. Did, I'm sure did, it is. They you did the research. What, uh, we've read a lot of studies <laughs> that I'm like, no well, way. This one. A new study claims that singles are getting more likes on dating apps if their profile says they're vaccinated. So we've got a son who cannot say that, but we have a daughter who can say that. So let's see. We'll put them both on dating apps and we'll see uh, how that goes. Okay. No, not, not going to happen. Thanks for listening to Surveys and Studies and Such, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. A Missouri woman arrested last month on a drug and weapons charge had a small revolver hidden in her, well, you know... Uh Oh, yeah. And it her went, purse. <laughs> it went undetected during a strip search and two pat-downs. The four-inch twenty-two caliber firearm, fully loaded with five rounds, was Holy discovered cow. by personnel in the jail. A weapon was found among the personal belongings of 39-year-old Amy Natasha Wilfie, booked into the facility on Valentine's Day. Uh, she was charged with possession of meth, resisting arrest, unlawful possession of a firearm, and possession of drug paraphernalia. The initial search, they failed to locate uh, the 4.6-ounce North American Arms revolver. A thorough pat search at the jail was followed by a strip search, and nobody found anything. It was not until her 17th day in incarceration that jailers Whoa. discovered the firearm. The discovery of the gun resulted in her being charged with another felony for introduction of a weapon into a correctional facility. So what in the world is going on? Well, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> when your brain is on drugs.
Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. According to new reports, LeBron James' film Space Jam 2 has now removed all the Pepe Le Pew scenes out of the final version. I think that uh, was maybe a week ago they talked about that. And a lot of folks online, not too thrilled. That's infuriating. It's just bizarre. It is one of my favorite your, cartoon characters. Yeah, he is. Kim Kardashian is in the news. Part of her divorce from Kanye West, she gets to keep the 15,000 square foot Southern California mansion that the couple purchased in 2014. Kardashian and West shelled out $20 million for the spread located in Hidden Hills, then put another $20 million into the massive renovation they did. And Kanye was a par- apparently the general contractor. He was the one in charge, like, telling everybody what to do. Okay. And uh, it turned out pretty decent, I guess. New <laughs> I'm Line- sure it did. Yeah. New Line Cinema has officially uh, given the green light to Hello Kitty, the movie. Described as an animated live-action hybrid, the movie will likely bring an animated version of the popular cartoon Cat into the real world, similar to the new Tom and Jerry movie. So... A lot of fun stuff going on there. I can honestly say I've seen that Hello Kitty stuff everywhere, yeah. like over the years, but I don't think I've ever seen like the show or like a the cartoon. Well, get ready. Or is it a, is it a show or is it just like a comic? Yeah it's, yeah, it's it's coming soon. Big screen, little screen. Brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of RedCrossBlood.org. Mark Cuban, one of my top ten favorite sharks from Shark Tank. (laughs) I think there's only five sharks on there, though. Um, He's announced that uh, fans can now buy... Dallas Maverick tickets with, is it Doggy Coin or Dodge Coin? I think it's Doggy. I D- have no idea. D O G E C O I N. I think it's Doggy Coin. Anyway, uh, he's saying, hey, you can use your uh, cryptocurrency there to buy the, the tickets. So, all right. And uh, funny thing is, somebody online said, so what you're saying is it's still worthless. And I was like, oh, that just seems really mean. So be nice to people out there. Come on. Um, a UK man uh, was jailed after confessing to four bank robberies and an attempted robbery and a firearms offense. He was caught Jeez. when he tried to use a taxi as a getaway vehicle, but the driver realized what was happening and refused to wait. The man had apparently researched his crime in advance, downloading several online crime guides, including one titled How to Rob a Bank. <laughs> I can't believe somebody actually put out a book called How to Rob a Bank, but apparently they did. And I think I got time for one more thing here. It says, real runners do not take walking breaks, do they? Jen A. Miller, the author of Running, a Love Story, says they do. She tells the New York Times that when friends suggested she run her first distance race by adding walking breaks, it startled her. She felt like a failure after racing in five marathons and walking for periods in four of them. She did her research in a study in the Journal of Science and Medicine in Sport, found that those taking regular walking breaks during a race can finish at the same time as those who do nothing but run the entire time. And the ones who didn't run the whole way actually suffered far less wear and tear to their bodies. So the saying if you're going to run, it's not a, ba- a bad idea to walk a little in the midst of that. Okay. So, and I remember uh, a different story completely, but similar to that. They were saying if you're using an axe and you're chopping a tree and one guy's chopping all day long and the other guy stops every 10 minutes and sharpens his axe, who gets done first? And the answer is the, the guy, guy that sharpens his axe because the other guy is using a dull axe. So right. I think that's kind of the same theory. And I don't know if that axe thing is true. It was just told to me. (laughs) I didn't test it out. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that. 
But I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Our guest today is Sunil Gupta. He has a brand new book out. It's called Backable, The Surprising Truth Behind What Makes People Take a Chance on You. I think this is a really cool idea for a book. Thanks, John. I mean, you know, what I realized, and I think a lot of people realize, is that creativity and persuasion are two different things. You could have a great idea. You could be a great candidate for a job. You could have a great idea for a project inside the office um, and still be dismissed. And that all got me interested in in backable people. These are people who who tend to sort of walk into a room, whether that be an interview, an audition, uh, a sales pitch, and they really tend to dazzle us. They mesmerize us. And I wanted to understand, like, what is that mysterious it quality? And, And can it be learned? And what I realize is that the answer is yes, we, we can all bring backable into our lives. Now, some people have this thing called charisma. The thing that you're talking about, is it the same thing as charisma, or is this two completely different things? Yeah, you know, it's a great question, because when I first started writing this book, I, I really thought it was about charisma. I, I thought that people who were backable would have a certain way of communicating, a certain way of using eye contact and hand gestures and, and pacing, you know, very Dale Carnegie-esque sort of style communication, but I did not find that to be the case. Certainly there were people who did that, backable people who do that, but, but there are there's plenty of backable people out there that, that had very different styles of communication. And, and, you know, if you want an example of that, go look up the number one most popular TED Talk of all time. And what you'll find is a very un like presentation. The guy named Sir Ken Robinson, he's got one hand in his pocket, he's got a bit of a slouch, he kind of meanders on and off script, but it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant talk. And what I found is that it's not charisma that convinces people, it's conviction. Now, it- people take the time to convince themselves first, and then they let that conviction shine through whatever style it is that feels most natural to them. So the skill set you're talking about, is that something that people can learn? Like, is it a teachable thing, or you just have to be born with it? Yeah, the answer is absolutely yes. And the reason for that is because when you look at most backable people, and you rewind the tape on their career, you look at the early stages, most of them started out by being not backable. What we found is that backable is not something that you're born with, but it's something you learn along the way. And so there, there are a set of qualities, and oftentimes these qualities are not taught. They tend to be a little bit more hidden. We, we just talked about one of them. Another one is, is that you know, backable people tend to go beyond Google when they're looking for an insight, when, they, when they're trying to figure out why their idea might be valid. They don't sit behind a desk and do a bunch of Google searches. They're talking to customers, they're test driving products, they're attending meetups, they're going beyond Google to find what I call in the book an earned secret, an earned secret, something that not a lot of other people know. Because again, it doesn't matter if you're an extrovert or an introvert, when you have new information, you have a new insight, that can be a very powerful thing to have inside a room. And changing somebody's mind, whether it's, you know, changing their mind to get a job, changing their mind if you're doing sales, changing their mind if you want to maybe get somebody to date you, uh, that's a difficult thing. But what you're talking about here, this is this is kind of the recipe to help make that a little bit easier, at least. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, one of the, one of the things that we talk about in the book is, is this idea of the IKEA effect when it comes to convincing people. And the IKEA effect basically tells us that we value something that we build up to five times more than something that we simply buy off the shelf. Same product, but if we built it ourselves, we value it up to five times more. So you have a lot of people with poorly made furniture and futons out there that they're never going to get rid of because they built it with their own hands. And, and what, what that means for creativity is oftentimes we can flip outsiders to insiders and make people feel like it's their idea too. Because when you when they feel like it's their idea too, when they feel like they're a builder and not a buyer, then by the time that you reach execution phase, 
You've got a whole team of people who are rallying behind you to succeed. I love that. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today, Sunil. John, this has been a a blast. Thanks so much for having me on. Absolutely. Again, Sunil Gupta has been our guest today. And the book, it's available now. It's called Backable, The Surprising Truth About What Makes Someone Take a Chance on You. And it's available right now. I've got a link to all the info in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? It costs $10,000 to build one parking space in a parking ramp or a parking garage. So a parking garage with 250 spaces would cost $2.5 million. Really? Yeah, so it's about 10000 per parking space. Hmm. So there you go. It's an interesting thing to know. Thanks for I listening. I guess so. To the John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's Better Credit Card. Com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline Canada. A Canadian, we'll say adult film star, that's what I'm okay. going to say, because I'm not saying that other word on the radio, um, Isabella Lagacy. I don't know if I'm saying it right, never heard of her. Uh, she's been arrested for smuggling cocaine into Australia. So, yeah, she's in trouble now. You don't do that. All right. It's a bad plan. It's a news headline from somewhere <laughs> in this world. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com A Georgia man posing as a Home Depot employee almost made off with $1,500 worth of merchandise in a Panama City store. He's wanted in connection to thefts at two other locations as well. According to the police, 32-year-old Dustin White was intercepted recently loading the stolen items into the back of a U-Haul trailer in the parking lot of the store. Yikes. According to a news release issued by the police, he wore a Home Depot employee apron in an attempt to conceal his axe. He led officers on a brief foot chase before being detained. Police say that uh, he took items from other Home Depots as well. Uh, it says in all three instances, he misrepresented himself as a Home Depot employee to facilitate the crime. It's currently being charged with grand theft, scheme to defraud, possession of meth. Oh, hey, wow, that, that snuck that one right in there. Yikes. Resisting arrest and violence in connection to the Panama City incident only so far. So so this dude's backing up a U-Haul. Wearing a, a, a Home Depot smock, loading up everything. And nobody thought anything of it. Well, everybody until... was like, oh, he works here, apparently. Yeah, I've never seen Is it, it before. Is it normal for someone to just Probably be loading not. stuff up into a yeah, I don't know. random U-Haul? Apparently not. He got caught, so don't try it. <laughs> Today's Weird Jeez. News brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for your moment of duh. Brought to you by RedCrossBlood.org. What a bizarre story here. Two Philadelphians have been indicted on allegations that they tried to use explosives to rob a convenience store. What? 65-year-old Desiree Adorno, 34-year-old Michael Fields, were arrested and charged with conspiracy to use explosive devices to steal lottery tickets and money from the safe at a uh, convenience store. Okay. This happened in June. Fields, who was charged with possession of an unregistered firearm, uh, the attorney information is not listed in the court documents for either of them, 
But uh, yeah, 65 year old and a 34 year old, they were going to use some sort of explosives to blow up a safe. Apparently, this is the second time that you've said the attorney information is not noted. Why would it be? I don't know. They put it in the story, and I just read what's there. <laughs> gonna give him a call. Hey, if he's handling that case, maybe yeah. he can handle mine. I, I don't know why they put that in there. <laughs> have you noticed I read what they put? And a lot of the time, I have no idea what I'm reading. That is my moment of duh. Brought to you by RedCrossBlood.org. Early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. All right, get my golf clap hands ready because it's time for Is It a Golf Course or Is It a Rehab Center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. Are you ready, Heidi? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Desert Sands, Mesa, Arizona. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? That one sounds like a golf course. It is a golf course. Golf clapping for Heidi. Good job if you got it right at home as well. That's how we play. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with positive news, something happy, something cheerful, something good. So a little good news comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. Here's a headline. High school security guard saves a choking student with the Heimlich maneuver. Heidi's done that before. I have. A little heave, a little ho. Out goes, what, was it a Werther's original one time? I've had to do it three times. I know, but our son, wasn't it one time a Werther's yep, or was it both times? It was a Werther's original one time. What was the other thing? Another time a nephew had a donut lodged in his throat. <laughs> and, we, yeah. we, we really need to learn to chew in our family. <laughs> So uh, a high school security guard being hailed as a hero, H-E-R-O, hero, when she saved a choking student performing the Heimlich maneuver. This happened uh, at, uh, let's see, Greece Athena High School, Rochester, New York. And the security camera caught this happen. Shows security guard Robin Cooper jumping to her feet as a student runs over for help. That's when uh, the school security director, Steve Chatterton, shared the video on Twitter. He told the media outlets that the student's family gave him permission to post the clip, but the boy's name is still not being shared. It says, if you ever sat through the training and wondered, why are you here? Training pays off. Huge shout out to my security guard, Robin Cooper, who recognized the student was choking and performed the Heimlich maneuver. Most likely saved this kid's life, by the way. Oh, yeah. It says, um, she does not feel like a hero. She says, I'm just doing my job. She's been at the school for five years and has never had any experience quite like this in her life. So quite the story. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday.